My name is Jonathan Hicks, and we're converting fractions to decimals. Now, the main thing you need to understand to be able to do this is division. Surprisingly enough, you just need to know how to divide ordinary numbers. As long as you can do that, this is pretty straightforward. So I'll start with an example. Imagine you've got 3 eighths, and you want to convert it into a decimal number. Now, what you need to remember here is that a fraction, any fraction, is essentially just a division. Yeah, this means 3 divided by 8. The line in the middle means division, means divided by. So, if you just divide 3 by 8, you can work out what it is as a decimal. Let me show you how. So, this is just normal division here. We want to know how many 8s go into 3. So, 8s into... Three. The difficulty is, you say, how many eights in three? It goes zero times. And then what do you do? Well, there's just a little trick here you have to remember. Three could be written as three point zero, 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 as many zeros as you like, really. And now I've got the digits to do my remainders and things and actually do the division. So strictly speaking, you say, how many eights go into three? That goes 0, remainder 3. Or you can just read it as 30 across here, it's fine either way. Make sure you put a decimal point above the one below, and then you're saying how many 8s into 30? Well, 8s into 30, you're going to go 3 times, 3 8s are 24. And from 24 up to 30, the remainder is going to be 6. So you put a 6 there, and you're saying how many 8s in 60? Well, 7 8s are 56, remainder 4, which goes there. How many 8s into 40? That goes 5 times. And the remainder now is 0. So when you have a 0 remainder, you can just stop. And we don't need any of these other zeros on the end. I mean, you can leave them there, it doesn't really make any difference, but we don't need any of that. And what it means is that 8s into 3 go 0 0.375 times. So 3 eighths as a decimal number is 0 0.375. And that method will work for converting any fraction at all into a decimal number. You just need to know how to divide, and remember to stick a point zero, 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 however many zeros you need, on the end, so that you've got room for all the remainders. I'll show you a couple more examples, because this can get harder, but that method is always exactly the same. All right, so we'll try two-thirds next. Thirds are quite common, so it's one that's worth learning. All right, uh, so we're saying how many threes divide into two? So again, I'm going to write this as two point zero 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 for however many zeros we're going to need. We don't know at the start how many we need, uh, so you just write a whole bunch. All right, threes into two, go no times. Two is too small to fit a three into it. Make sure your decimal point goes above the one below. And if 3 goes into 2, 0 times the remainder is 2, which I'll put there. So then you say, how many 3's in 20? Well, 3 6's would be 18, and the remainder then is 2, which will go on the next 0, and 3's into 20 again. Well, we've just done that one, that's going to be 6. 3's into 20 goes 6 times, remainder 2. And then it's 3's into 20 again, which is 6 times, remainder 2. And it's 20 again. In fact, you can see what's going to happen here. This is going to be 20 all the way along. Because every time it's going to go in 6 times, remain 2. 6 times, remain 2. So in fact, the 6s here are going to go on forever. Because these zeros, yeah, 2 is just 2.00000, and the zeros go on forever. You can have as many zeros as you like. And this is never going to end. It's always going to go in 6 times, remain 2. So the answer, if you like, 2 thirds as a decimal, is 0 0.6666666, where the 6s go on forever. In math we said that's a recurring decimal, and you can write that as 0 0.6 with a dot above it like that. So that means 0 0.6 recurring, i.e. 0 0.6666666, where the 6s go on forever. So 2 thirds as a decimal is 0 0.6 recurring. Okay, let's try another one. We'll have a twelfth this time. So how many 12s into 1? It's very important you get these the right way around. A lot of people want to write a 1 and the 12, that's the wrong way around and it won't work. Okay, 
The one on the bottom always comes first. You're dividing by 12, the number you're dividing by goes outside the division. So 12 is into 1, and again we make that into 1 point zero 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 however many zeros you want so 12s into 1 go nothing remember your decimal point and the remainder 12s into 1 go nothing remainder 1 so you put that there so now it's 12 into 10 but that still doesn't go and this can happen that's why I'm giving you this example 12s into 10 still goes 0 so you put the 0 and this time the remainder is the full 10 and you do have to write all of that 10 next to the next digit here. So that's a 10 up there with a 0 makes it into a 100. Yep, 100 zero zero is 100. So now you're saying 12 is into 100. Well, 12 into 100 will go 8 times, I think. 8, 12, and 96. So the 8 goes there. And from 96 to 100 is remainder 4. So then it's 12 into 40. That's going to go 3 times. 3, 12 is 36. So remainder 4. 12 into 40 go 3 times. Remainder 4. Hang on a second, we've seen this before, three times remainder four, it's just like this one. These threes are just going to keep going on forever, because it always goes in three times remainder four, three times remainder four, three times remainder four. The zeros go on forever, so the threes will also go on forever. So we can write a twelfth as a recurring decimal. This time it's slightly different from this, it's not just one digit that goes on like that, because there's some other stuff first. So it's going to be 0 0.083, and it's the threes that go on forever. So it's 0 0.083, and you put the dot above the three to indicate that it's the threes that go on forever. So sometimes that can happen. You can have other stuff at the front first, and then you'll hit a digit which just goes on forever. So a twelfth as a decimal is 0 0.83, sorry, 0 0.083 recurring. All right, we'll do one more, because... Um, this is probably the next one is the hardest of the lot and you will see it every now and then and that's a seventh so it's not a particularly unusual fraction but if we try and do the division here so it's sevens into one and again we can stick all the point zero zero zeros on the end so that we've got room for the remainders and we're going to need quite a few for this one Right, 7s into 1, go nothing, remember the decimal point, remainder 1. 7s into 10, go 1, remainder 3. 7s into 30, we'll go 4 times, 4 7s are 28, remainder 2. 7s into 20, go twice, 2 7s are 14, remainder 6. 7s into 60, we'll go 8 times, I think, 8 7s are 56, remainder 4. 7s into 40 will go 5 times, yeah, 5 7s are 35, so that's remainder 5. 7s into 50 will go 7 times, because 7 7s are 49, so that's remainder 1. At this point, I'm going to stop because I've hit the same remainder as I had before. Now I know what's going to come next here, because I've already done remainder 1, yeah, 7s into 10 will go once, remainder 3. And then I'll have a remainder 3 here, and I know what will happen there as well, because 7s will go into 30 four times, remainder 2. So as soon as you hit a, digit, a remainder you've already had before, it's going to repeat what you had before. So 7s into 10 go once, remainder 3. 7s into 30 will go four times, remainder 2, etc. But this 142857 that we've got here is then going to be repeated. It's going to be 142857. Yeah, 142857. And it'll just keep going round, 142857, 1, forever, because the zeros go on forever. So it's recurring, kind of, but it's not a single digit that's recurring. It's not even a bunch of other stuff and then a single digit that's recurring. It's a section of numbers that are going to repeat and recur in that way. So how do you write that out? Well, it's going to be naught point. You write out all the digits that are going to repeat. So 0 0.142857, and then you stick a dot above the first and the last digits of the ones that are going to repeat. So it's going to be 0.1 with a dot over it, through to 7 with a dot over it. So as a decimal, a seventh is going to be 0 0.142857.
142857 with the dots above the 1 and the 7. And that means that the 142857 keeps repeating over and over forever. That's as hard as it's ever going to get. Most of the time, you're going to get much easier ones. And most of the time when they ask you in the maths test to convert fractions into decimals, they're not even going to be recurring ones. These are unusual. Most of the time, it'll work out nicely. You'll find it'll go in exactly at some point, and then you just stop. You've got your answer. But I wanted to cover these recurring ones so you could see what would happen and how you deal with it when it gets a bit trickier.